In recent weeks, it's been clear that as brilliant as Casemiro has been and is, the over-reliance on him in our midfield and how disjointed that we look going forward and defensively when he's not firing on all cylinders is highlighted the desperation for an understudy. I'm not sure what's caused the slump in performance that we've seen from Casemiro. It could be a, a whole host of factors. He could be playing on with an injury. Entirely possible, seeing as though how overly reliant we are upon him. Um, it could be mental fatigue after everything that he's been through. He's been on an emotional roller coaster this season. Obviously, had a World Cup. Plenty of things going on as well as settling into a new country. Like those are factors that play in a massive part. I mean, you know, he is thirty-one. He isn't a spring chicken, and and he's, he's also human. And you expect there to be dips and peaks and troughs in people's form, uh, just as a matter of course. And I think we've seen that in recent weeks and, and when Casemiro's form has dipped, United have just dipped as well because there isn't enough elsewhere in the side to be able to buoy us back up and overcome. Maybe it's even just the vigours of the Premier League week in, week out, which is different to you know, the, the tempo and intensity that he would have been used to playing in La Liga. I think it's essential that United start looking for an alternative, a, a future replacement and at least an understudy and one player that I believe is capable of doing that is Manuel Ugarte from Sporting Lisbon. He joined Sporting from Fimilaco in 2021 for just three million. And it, it always impresses me how Portuguese teams manage to get players in for straight 1990s prices. His expected transfer value right now is around about 21 million euros. His contract is, has got another three years to run on it. It wouldn't be 20, 21 million euros if Manchester United rang up, of course. Um... And they will demand a premium, um, an amount likely higher, uh, given the current level of interest in the player, um, possibly somewhere in the region of, of what we paid for Bruno Fernandes in that sort of ballpark, I imagine. The displays that he put up against Arsenal in the Europa League, uh, red card withstanding, highlighted the capabilities and the potential to a much wider audience. Now, Ugarte plays at the base of a central midfield as... Uh, a, a pure holding midfielder. Uh, he positions himself near the halfway line, commits a good amount of defensive actions in his own half, uh, and he's also shown the desire to assert himself and his authority in the oppos opposition half, um, shown by the fouls and interceptions that he commits in that half. In addition to how good he is defensively, Ugarte also possesses the ability to circulate the ball very, very well. Um, he is an absolute technician. He's got a range of passing options that allow him to retain control of the ball and set a tempo of the game from midfield. Something that I think Casemiro has brought to United. Just good level of control and decision making. And I see elements of that in Ugarte. A big cluster of his passes are in the central areas, which illustrates that sort of ball circulation sort of ability that he's got. Uh, he just keeps the ball moving, keeps it flowing. He's very similar to Casemiro in that sense. If we look at him in terms of what he does as a player, he is a bit of a powerhouse and he ticks most of the boxes that you want him for the high quality defensive midfielder. His style has evolved nicely in recent years and I would say he's now firmly on his way to becoming a, a really well-rounded player that can contribute in all areas, not just where he excels, which is defensively. He is great at defensive positioning and he does stop opponents making uh, dangerous passes and dribbling past him. His counter press and pressing in the, the high zone as well over the halfway line are also really good. And then he attempts to win the ball back using his physicality. He's in the 99th percentile for tackles and dribblers tackled whilst also being in the 98th percentile for interceptions. This is the, this is guy, honestly, just covers. He just covers. And he's exceptional at recovering the ball, um, especially with his tackling. He averages in a, uh, more than eight recoveries per 90 minutes, which is the highest in the Portuguese Premier League. And once he wins the ball, he's good at retaining it as well. He rarely loses the ball. He's something of a possession juggernaut in that regard. And that's why I think he could bring a real element of control to United. And there's certain games as well where you might favour him alongside Casemiro and maybe you rest Christian Eriksen because... We're expecting a bit of a battle today. Let's say we're in the Champions League. It's a knockout stage. You've got Real Madrid. 
you go with this sort of midfield. This is your your Nicky Button, Roy Keane, Paul Scholes takes a seat for this one. I, I think that would be an effective way to sort of utilise this sort of player. Um, it, it, overall, I think his passing has got gears that he could improve on. Um, he is particularly good with a first pass. He, which he does often after winning possession, keeps that very, very simple. Um, that's why he can set off dangerous attacks because he doesn't look to do anything overcomplicated when he gets the ball. He gets the ball, shifts it to someone who's in a better position and then holds his line. Uh, and he's not just a tackling machine. He's got no qualms about getting hold of the ball in close quarters um, and being able to manoeuvre out of it when it's crowded. He can dribble. And he can dribble to good effect when it's required. He progresses the ball while carrying. He drives through the middle. Uh, a trait I love in a midfielder. I, I don't like people that just pass it for passing sake. I like people to just eat up that ground in front of them and, and get to where the opposition are, pin them back a little bit. Um, Ugar is dribbling at 8.4 times per 90. He's in the 97th percentile for um, take-ons per 90. This is a, a really, really, really well-rounded high-level player. And there's a, an engine in him. His main appeal is the brawn and the strength. And I think that would really, really suit the Premier League. He's a mentality monster. He's got guile. Um, and of course, huge physical attributes. I think the energy and attitude that seems to come across when you watch him is, is massive. He's, he is well known for covering a lot of ground during games. Um, and he seems to bring a bit of a tempo about him. Sporting coach uh, Amarin also linked in with a Premier League move very soon. He sits on the left-hand side of uh, a midfield four for them at the moment. That's a 3-4-2-1 a that they kind of play, but I think he's still a fit for any top-level team in Europe. Um, he's used to playing in a midfield pivot of two. Um, I think he could easily adapt to being in a 4-2-3-1, uh, which obviously is the formation that Ten Hag has deployed this season. Uh, and I, I don't necessarily think finding someone for Casemiro takes everything and, and sorts us right out. But I think it's a question you're going to have to answer soon. And it's one that you might be able to answer quite cheaply. So Ugarte gets my vote as someone that could come in and do that. Let me know your thoughts on him in the, in the comments. And um, if you've got any requests for scout reports, give us your requests and we'll go do them. See you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.